Hey guys, how's it going? Jason's here. Welcome to another session of Yaystar P Series PBX Basic Level Configuration Video Tutorial. In the past two sessions, we've built a very functional IP PBX together for making and receiving phone calls, also for routing phone calls into IVR, then to the final destination, which is a ring group or a queue. Good job, everybody. Cheers. Now let's continue with more useful features on the P Series PBX. Today we're going to talk about voicemail, conference, and speed dial. Yaystar p Service PBX system supports both individual voicemail and group voicemail. For the individual voicemail, we've talked about it on the second session. It was configured when we added the extensions. Meanwhile, group voicemail is a feature for a team, where every member of the team shares one mailbox for voicemail. It is useful when a company is organized into departments, for example, after setting up a group voicemail for a support team, a customer can leave voicemail messages to the support team. Then any team members can access the group voicemail box to check the customer's voicemail. So let's see how to configure a group voicemail for a support team by going to Call Features, Voicemail, then Group Voicemail. First, we click on Add, then choose a type for this group voicemail. Type is for defining the users in the group. So if we already have a ring group or a queue, we can select them directly. Then the members, the number, and the name will be automatically synchronized into this group voicemail. However, we can also choose the custom type and add the members manually. Then change the number and the name of this group voicemail if it's needed. Next, we need to choose the mode. For the support team, we choose the mode shared by members. It means the voicemail messages are saved in the group mailbox and are shared by all members. Any members can manage the group voicemail messages. There's another mode that we can use, by the way. Broadcast to members. It means the voicemail messages are broadcast into the individual mailboxes of all the members. It's more often used when the manager wants to make some announcements to the department members. We can also enable the paying authentication for the group voicemail so that the message will be more secured. And of course, if we want to set a greeting for this group voicemail, we can just scroll down to the bottom and click to choose from the drop-down list or record a new one right away. When everything's done, we can click on Save and Apply. Now we have a group voicemail for dealing with phone calls for support team. All right, now let's click Voicemail Settings to configure voicemail function for this PBX. Here we have the options for callers, including allow callers to press zero to break out from voicemail to reach a specific IVR or an extension. Allow callers to dial some specific extensions. Allow callers to press five for leaving a message instead of auto starting recording immediately. Allow callers to review message after being recorded. Also, we can adjust the message time length or greeting time length if necessary. The global voicemail greeting will be played when the extensions or group voicemails don't have a custom greeting. The next step is to confirm the voicemail auto cleanup rule. By default, the PBX will save a hundred voicemails maximally. If we want to change this rule, we can click the auto cleanup shortcut and go to storage to get it down. Yaystar P-Service PBX system supports Dell and conference room that allows multiple participants, including internal users and external users, to start a conference call and talk to each other anywhere, anytime. Let's have a check. Click Call Features, then Conference. Click on Add. We can decide the number and name for the conference room, then configure the password for participant or moderator if needed. The voice prompt is for announcing to the participants when someone, when someone joins or access from the conference call. We can choose whether we want the system to announce the extension number of those participants or not. If we want to forbid the participants to talk with each other before the moderator joins the conference call, we can enable wait for moderator. And we can also enable allow extension participants to invite, so they can press the pound key and dial other people's number. So after the invited user joins or rejects the conference call, 
they will be returned to the conference call. In the end, we can choose mod readers by selecting the specific extension or extension groups. If we want to quickly connect with people or extensions that we dial frequently, we can set up the speed dial feature. The default prefix for speed dial is asterisk 89, but we can totally modify it according to user's habit. Let's click on add. Enter the speed dial number, then the actual phone number that we need to call. Please note that if we have the prefix rule with outbound route dial pattern, here we need to add that prefix as well. For example, if the dial pattern in outbound route is 9x dot, the phone number we need to call is 151-234-56789. Then, when we enter the speed dial number, it should be 9151-234-56789. The speed dial numbers can also be exported and saved as a template. We can fill in desired speed dial numbers in the exported file and import the file to the PBX so that we can add the numbers in bulk. All right, guys, that was all for this one. Hope you like it. And same as usual, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. For more details, visit yaystar.com.